Dilo prinosím pred doboju Hriste Bože náš, vo voni bola ochrany duchovne, že prejmu pre vesvitoj žadbene, ktorý si sposlech nám dar, presvitav od Tvojho ducha. Praise the name of the Lord, hallelujah. Praise Him, servants of the Lord, servants of the Lord, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Who stand in the house of the Lord, in the courts of the house of our God, the house of our God, hallelujah, hallelujah, for your name stands forever, unforgotten from age to age, from age to age. Praise to praise hallelujah 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 from Zion may the from Lord be blessed my spirit he who dwells in Jerusalem in your goodness your favor in Zion rebuild the walls of Jerusalem then you will be pleased with lawful sacrifice burnt offerings holy consumed hallelujah. then they will offer your holes upon your own <coughs> Hallelujah! Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for for He is good. Hallelujah! For His love endures forever. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Who fixed the earth firmly on the sea? For his love endures forever. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And he snatched us away from our foes. Hallelujah. For his love endures forever. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To the God of heaven give thanks. Hallelujah, for his love endures forever. Hallelujah, Glory to Jesus Christ. Changeables for Lazarus Saturday begin on page 432, and the proper of the liturgy begins on page 11. King, comfort the spirit of truth, every we are filling all things, treasury, blessings, giver of life, come and dwell with us, cleanse us of all stain, and save our souls, a gracious one. Glory to God in the highest, to people on earth, peace and goodwill. Glory to God in the highest, to people on earth, peace and goodwill. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. Blessed is the kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For peace, my high, and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For peace in the whole world, for the stability of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy Holy Church, and for all who enter with faith, reverence, and fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our Holy Father, Francis, Pope of Rome, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our most reverend Metropolitan William, for our God-loving Bishop Kurt, for the venerable presbyter at the diaconate in Christ, and all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our government and for all in the service of our country, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this city, for every city and community, and for the faithful living in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For favorable weather, for an abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who travel by sea, air, and land, for the sick, 
the suffering, the captive, and for their salvation, and for the faithful of Ukraine, that the Lord our God may quickly confound every diabolical plot conceived against them and turn back their enemies in shame and confusion. Let us pray to the Lord, Lord have mercy. that we be delivered from all affliction, wrath, and need. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Protect us, save us, have mercy on us, and preserve us, O God, by your grace. Lord have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theodore and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, o Lord. Lord our God, mighty beyond description, glorious above all understanding, merciful without limits, loving beyond expression, look with compassion on us and on this holy church, O Master, show us and those who pray with us the riches of your tender mercy. For to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, is due all glory, honor, and worship, now and ever and forever. Amen. <coughs> it is good to give thanks to the Lord and to sing praises to your name, O Most High, through the prayers of the Theotokos, O Savior, save us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Through the prayers of the Theotokos, O Savior, save us. The Lord reigns, he is clothed in majesty. Robed is the Lord, and gird of us with strength. Through the prayers of your saints, O Savior, save us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and forever. Amen. O Holy Begotten Son and Word of God, who being immortal, deign for our salvation, to become incarnate of the Holy Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, and became man without change. You were also crucified, O Christ our God, and by death have trampled death. Dlatego, Gospody Bože, nasz postoł wybił, bo nawet się czyni, bo jest wam miał, jak to miał, bo słyszenie Twoje słowa, bo 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 So come, let us sing joyfully to the Lord. Let us acclaim God our Savior, O Son of God. Wondrous in your saints, save us who sing to you. Alleluia. We stone be attentive. Come, let us worship and bow before Christ. O Son of God, wondrous in your saints, save us who sing to you. Alleluia. Christ our God, before your passion, you confirmed our common resurrection. When you raised Lazarus from the dead, therefore, like the children, we carried the symbols of victory and cry out to you, the victor over death, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Glory to the Father and to the 
Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. O Christ, the joy of all the truth, the light, the life and the resurrection of the world has appeared to those on earth because of his goodness. He became the pattern of our resurrection, granting divine forgiveness to all. For you are holy, our God, and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. All you who have been baptized into Christ have been clothed with Christ. Alleluia. All you who have been baptized into Christ have been clothed with Christ. Alleluia. All you who have been baptized into Christ have been clothed with Christ. Alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Have been clothed with Christ. Alleluia. All you who have been baptized into Christ have been clothed with Christ. Alleluia. Let us be attentive. Peace be to all. Wisdom be attentive. The Lord is my light and my help. Whom shall I fear? Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Before whom shall I shrink? The Lord is my light and my help. Whom shall I fear? Whom shall I fear? Reading of the epistle to the Hebrews. Let us be attentive. Brethren, we who are receiving the unshakable kingdom should hold fast to God's grace through which we may offer worship acceptable to him in reverence and awe. For our God is a consuming fire. Love your fellow Christians always. Do not neglect to show hospitality, for by that means some, has enter some have entertained angels without knowing it. Be as mindful as prisoners, as if you were sharing their imprisonment, and of the ill-treated as of yourselves, for you may yet suffer as they do. Let marriage be honored in every way, and the marriage bed be kept undefiled, for God will judge fornicators and adulterers. Do not love money, but be content with what you have, for God has said, I will never desert you, nor will I forsake you. Thus we may say with confidence, the Lord is my helper, I will not be afraid. What can man do for me? Remember your leaders who spoke the word of God to you. Consider how their lives ended and imitate their faith. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Peace be to you, reader. Wisdom be attentive. Alleluia. 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 
Lord, the Lord reigns, he is clothed in majesty, robed is the Lord and girt about with strength. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The world he made firm not to be moved. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. We storm, let us stand and listen to the Holy Gospel. Peace be to all. And to your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. Let us be attentive. At that time, there was a certain man named Lazarus who was sick. He was from Bethany, the village of Mary and her sister Martha. This Mary, whose brother Lazarus was sick, was the one who anointed the Lord with perfume and dried his feet with her hair. The sister sent word to Jesus to inform him, Lord, the one you love is sick. Upon hearing this, Jesus said, This sickness is not to end in death, rather it is for God's glory, that through it the Son of God may be glorified. Now Jesus loved Martha and her sister and Lazarus very much, yet after hearing that Lazarus was sick, he stayed on where he was for two days more. Finally, he said to his disciples, let us go back to Judea. The disciples protested, Rabbi, with the Jews only recently trying to stone you. Are you going back up there again? Jesus answered, are there not 12 hours of daylight? If a man goes walking by day, he does not stumble because he sees the world bathed in light. But if he goes walking at night, he will stumble, since there is no light in him. After uttering these words, Jesus added, Our beloved Lazarus has fallen asleep, but I am going there to wake him. At this the disciples objected, Lord, if he is asleep, his life will be saved. Jesus had been speaking about his death, but they thought he meant sleep in the sense of slumber. Finally, Jesus said plainly, Lazarus is dead. For your sakes I am glad I was not there, that you may come to believe. In any event, let us go to him. Then Thomas, whose name means twin, said to his fellow disciples, Let us go along to die with him. When Jesus arrived in Bethany, he found that Lazarus had already been in the tomb four days. The village was not far from Jerusalem, just under two miles, and many Jews had come out to console Martha and Mary over their brother. When Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went to meet him while Mary sat at home. Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would never have died. Even now I am sure that God will give you whatever you ask of him. Jesus reassured her, your brother will rise again. Martha replied, I know he will rise again in the resurrection on the last day. Jesus told her, I am the resurrection and the life, whoever believes in me. Though he should die, will come to life, and whoever is alive and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? Yes, Lord, Martha replied. I believe that you are the Christ, the Son of God, the one who is to come into the world. When she had said this, she went back and called her sister Mary. The teacher is here asking for you, she whispered. As soon as Mary heard this, she got up and started out in his direction. Actually, Jesus had not yet come into the village, but was still at the spot where Martha had met him. The Jews who were in the house with Mary consoling her saw her get up quickly and go out, so they followed her, thinking she was going to the tomb to weep there. When Mary came to the place where Jesus was, seeing him, she fell at his feet and said, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would never have died. When Jesus saw her weeping, and the Jews who had accompanied her also weeping, he was troubled in spirit, moved by the deepest emotions. Where have you placed him? Jesus asked. They said, Lord, come and see. And Jesus wept, which caused the Jews to remark, see how much he loved him. But some said he opened the eyes of that blind man. Why could he not have done something to stop this man from dying? Once again, troubled in spirit, Jesus approached the tomb. It was a cave with a stone laid across it. 
Jesus ordered, remove the stone. Martha, the dead man's sister, said to him, Lord, it has been four days now. Surely there will be a stench. Jesus replied, Did I not assure you that if you believed, you would see the glory of God revealed? So they took away the stone, and Jesus looked up and said, Father, I thank you for having heard me. I know that you always hear me, but I have said this for the sake of the crowd, that they may believe that you sent me. Having said this, Jesus called out loudly, Lazarus, come forth. The dead man came out bound hand and foot with linen strips, his face wrapped in a cloth. Jesus ordered, unbind him and let him go free. This caused many of the Jews who had come to visit Mary and Martha and who saw what Jesus did to put their faith in him. Glory to you, O Lord, glory to you. <clears throat> There's three different things I want to say. Let's see if I can keep them all straight in my head. Unbind him and let him go free. The connection between sin and death has been there ever since the first sin. And therefore, it's the church's tradition that the faithful be unbound from our sins on Lazarus Saturday in preparation to walk through the events of Holy Week with our Lord and to be prepared to share in his resurrection, point one. Point two. Good old sarcastic Thomas. Oh, you want to go to, Ju to Judea where they're trying to kill you? Great. Let's go die with him. And as usual in St. John's Gospel, people say things and don't know what they're actually saying. Let us go up and die with him. That is exactly what the liturgy of the church invites you and me to do during the events that begin tomorrow with Palm Sunday and continue really until the Feast of Pentecost. We're invited to enter into the mysteries that happened once and for all in Jerusalem 2,000 years ago. And sacramental confession unbinds us and prepares us to make that journey unburdened. Third point. This is a very long gospel for a good reason. It's traditionally the last piece of gospel that is proclaimed at a funeral, although so many of our priests don't do it because it says everything you want to say about death. On the superficial level, we have a very good idea of exactly how Jews in the first century went about mourning the dead. All the details are there. We know exactly how that funeral happened. Secondly, we can see all of the different human reactions to death. Martha's all businesslike. She's probably got Lazarus' room cleared out and all the bags have been sent off to goodwill already. Mary is, she's a mess. She's just totally crumbled in grief. There's a gang of people surrounding Martha and Mary trying to console them. And then there's this implicit little blame. And we hear it three times. Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died, says Martha. Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died, said Mary. Hey, you open the eyes of that blind man. Why couldn't he stop this man from dying, say the Jews who were there to console Martha and Mary. And that's a real human reaction, too. So many of us, in our attempt to make sense of this senseless thing that has no place in God's original plan called death, one of the first things we want to do is blame somebody. We blame the doctors. They could have done more. We blame the dead person. He should have been smoking two packs a day. We blame ourselves. Oh, I should have done this. I should have done that. I should have done the next thing. We're just trying to make sense of a mystery.
breath stinks. And good old Martha says it out loud. Despite the funeral director's best efforts, we're all going to rot. And four days in, Lazarus has probably started to rot. And you can dress me up in a cheap suit and put me in an expensive box, but it doesn't change the facts. And so when Lazarus comes out bound in his mummy clothes, it's supposed to look ugly. Bound. He is bound by death, bound by sin, until Jesus Christ sets him free. And so are we. And Jesus looks at this whole scene and weeps. Why? In his human nature, our Lord Jesus Christ is simply being the lover of mankind and suffering along with us. He feels Martha's pain. He feels Mary's pain. He sees all these other people weeping. And unless you're a psychopath, when you see other people weep, you're likely to weep yourself. And Jesus wept. In his human nature, our Lord looks at this whole complex of death in all of its ugliness and weeps for what sin has done to human nature, weeps for this unnecessary but now unavoidable fact that we will all die. In his human nature, our Lord looks at death and the tomb and realizes it's less than a week away for him, and he's going to do it for you and me. It's all there. And it's with the understanding of everything about death that should never have been that you and I are invited to let ourselves be unbound and go up to Jerusalem with Jesus Christ. It's with the understanding of all of the ugliness of death that our Lord Jesus Christ is taking on himself for us that you and I are invited to go up to Jerusalem and die with Christ in order to rise with Christ. It's already happened sacramentally at baptism, but we have itty-bitty little short memories. And so the liturgical renewal every year allows us to enter back into this mystery that happened once and for all in Jerusalem and happened once and for all for us on the day of our baptism. Well, that's really all I want to say. Let us all say with our whole soul and with our whole mind, let us say, Lord, have mercy. Lord, almighty God of our fathers, we pray you here and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great mercy, we pray you here and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for our Holy Father, Francis, Pope of Rome, for our most reverend Metropolitan William, for for our God, let me Bishop Kurt, for those who serve and have served in this holy church, for our spiritual fathers, and for all our brothers and sisters in Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for our government and for all in the service of our country. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the people here present who await your great and abundant mercy, for those who show us mercy, and for all Christians of the true faith. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. For you are a merciful and loving God, and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Let us do mystically represent the cherubim and sing the thrice holy to the light creation. 
Remembering his kingdom, our Holy Father Francis, Pope of Rome, our most reverend Metropolitan William, and our God loving Bishop Kurt, the entire presbyteral, diaconal, and monastic orders, our government, and all in the service of our country, the noble, ever memorable founders and benefactors of this holy church, and may the Lord God remember in his kingdom all you Christians of the true faith always now and ever and forever. of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy, good, and life-creating Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Peace be to all. And to your spirit. Let us love one another so that with one mind we may profess. The Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Trinity, one in essence, head and divine. In wisdom, let us be attentive. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. And in one Lord, Jesus Christ, Son of God, the only begotten, born of the Father before all ages, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, one in essence with the Father, through whom all things were made, for us and for our salvation he came down from heaven and was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man. He was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried. He rose on the third day according to the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. And he is coming again in glory to judge the living and the dead. And his kingdom will have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the creator of life, who proceeds from the Father, together with the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified, he spoke through the prophets, in one holy 
holy, Catholic, and apostolic Church, I profess one baptism for the remission of sins. I expect the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us stand aright, let us stand in awe, let us be attentive to offer the holy anaphora in peace. Mercy, peace, a sacrifice of praise. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And with your spirit. Let us lift up our hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord. It is proper and just. It is proper and just to sing to you, to praise you, to bless you, to thank you, to worship you in every place of your dominion. For you are God, ineffable, inconceivable, invisible, incomprehensible, ever existing, ever the same. You and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit. You brought us out of non-existence into being, raised us up again when we had fallen and left nothing undone until you brought us to heaven and gave us your kingdom to come. For all this, we thank you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit for all that we know and that we do not know, for the manifest and hidden benefits bestowed on us. We also thank you for this liturgy, which you are pleased to accept from our hands, even though there stand before you thousands of archangels, tens of thousands of angels, cherubim, seraphim, six-winged, many-eyed, soaring aloft on their wings, singing, shouting, crying aloud and saying, the triumphal hymn. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. Heaven and earth are filled with your glory. Hosanna in the blessed powers, O loving and kind Master, and say, Holy are you and all holy, you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit. Holy are you and all holy and magnificent is your glory, who so loved your world that you gave your only begotten Son, that everyone who believes in him should not perish, but should have life everlasting. He came and fulfilled the whole divine plan in our behalf. On the night he was betrayed, or rather when he surrendered himself for the life of the world, he took bread into his holy and all pure and immaculate hands, gave thanks and blessed, sanctified, broke, and gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is broken for you, for the remission of sins. Amen. Likewise, he took the chalice after supper, saying, Drink of this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the remission of sins. Amen. Remembering, therefore, this saving command and all that has come to pass in our behalf, the cross, the tomb, the resurrection on the third day, the ascension into heaven, the sitting at the right hand, and the second coming in glory, offering you your own from your own always and everywhere. We praise you. We thank you, O Lord. We thank you, O Lord. And we pray to you. And we pray to you, our God. Lord, we offer you the spiritual and unbloody sacrifice, and we implore and pray and entreat you. Send down your Holy Spirit upon us and upon these gifts here set forth. Make this bread the precious body of your Christ. Amen. What is in this chalice, the precious blood of your Christ. Amen. Changing them by your Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 That for those who partake of them, they may bring about a spirit of vigilance, the remission of sins, the communion of the Holy Spirit, the fullness of the heavenly kingdom, confidence in you, not judgment or condemnation. 
Moreover, we offer you this spiritual sacrifice for those departed in faith, for the forefathers, fathers, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, ascetics, and for every just spirit brought to perfection in faith. Especially for our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. O oh, people, let us honor the Theotokos, glorious in purity. She bore the divine fire in her womb and was not consumed with unceasing hymns. Let us extol her. Among the first, O Lord, remember our Holy Father, Francis, Pope of Rome, our most reverend Metropolitan William, and our God-loving Bishop Kurt, and preserve them for your holy churches in peace, safety, honor, and health for many years, as they faithfully impart the word of your truth. And remember all your people. Remember, O Lord, this city in which we dwell in every city and community and the faithful living in them. Remember, O Lord, those who travel by sea, air, and land, the sick, the suffering, the captive, and grant them salvation. Remember, O Lord, those who bring offerings and perform good deeds in your holy churches and those who remember the poor and upon all of us send down your mercies. And grant that with one voice and one heart we may glorify and praise your most honored and magnificent name, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. May the mercies of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ be with all of you. And with your spirit. Now that we have commemorated all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the precious gifts offered and consecrated that our God who loves mankind may receive them on his holy, heavenly, and mystical altar as an aroma of spiritual fragrance and send down upon us in return his divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit, let us pray Lord, have mercy. that we be delivered from all affliction, wrath, and need. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Protect us, save us, have mercy on us, and preserve us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Let this whole day be perfect, holy, peaceful, and without sin. Let us beseech the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. For an angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us beseech the Lord. And this, o Lord. For the pardon and remission of our sins and offenses, let us beseech the Lord. And this, o Lord. For what is good and beneficial to our souls and for peace in the world, let us beseech the Lord. And this, o Lord. That we may spend the rest of our life in peace and repentance, let us beseech the Lord. And this, O Lord. For a Christian, painless, unashamed, a peaceful end of our life, and for a good account before the fearsome judgment seat of Christ, let us beseech the Lord. And this, O Lord. Asking for unity in faith and for communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, o Lord. And make us worthy, O Master, that we may with confidence and without condemnation dare call you the God of heaven, Father, and say, <coughs> Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Peace be to all. And to your spirit. Bow your heads.
to the Lord. To you, O Lord. We give you thanks, O invisible King, for by your immeasurable power you have fashioned all things, and in the greatness of your mercy have brought all things out of non-existence into being. Look down from heaven, O Master, on those who have bowed their heads to you, for they do not bow to flesh and blood, but to you, the awesome God. Make, make, make smooth the way that lies ahead according to the need of each. Sail with those who sail. Travel with those who travel. Cure those who are sick. O physician of souls and bodies. Through the grace, the mercies, and the loving kindness of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy, good, and life-creating Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Let us be attentive, holy gifts to holy people. One is holy, one is Lord. Christ, God to the glory of God, the Father, Amen. O Lord, I believe and profess that you are truly Christ, the Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the first. Accept me today as a partaker of your mystical supper, O Son of God, for I will not reveal your mystery to your enemies, nor will I you a kiss as did Judas, but like the thief, profess you. Remember me, O Lord, when you come in your kingdom. Remember me, O Master, when you come in your kingdom. Remember me, O Holy One, when you come in your kingdom. May the partaking of your holy mysteries, O Lord, be not from my judgment or condemnation, but the healing of soul and body. O Lord, I also believe and profess that this which I am about to receive is truly your most precious body and your life-giving blood, which I pray make me worthy to receive for the remission of all my sins and for life everlasting. Amen. O oh God, be merciful to me, a sinner. O oh God, cleanse me of my sins and have mercy on me. O oh Lord, forgive me, for I sinned without number. Approach with fear of God and with faith. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. The Lord is God and has revealed himself to us. <clears throat> From the mouths of babes you have fashioned praise. From the mouths of babes you have fashioned praise. From the mouths of babes and infants you have fashioned praise. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia. Has taken away your iniquities and will cleanse you from your sins. Save your people, O God, and bless your inheritance. We have seen the Lord our God, true life. Your wipe away we the have sins received the prayers the of the Theotokos and the intercession of all the saints. So please, we have time found again, the be exalted above the heavens, O God, and we worship the undivided Trinity. Be exalted above the heavens, O God, and let your glory be over all the earth. Blessed is our God always, now and ever and forever. Amen. May our mouth be filled with your praise, O Lord, so that we may sing of your glory, sing of your glory, for you have deemed us 
worthy to partake of your holy, divine, immortal, pure and life-creating mysteries. Keep us in your holiness so that all the day long we may live according to your truth. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Rise, now that we have received the divine, holy, most pure, immortal, heavenly, life-creating, awesome mysteries of Christ, let us worthily thank the Lord. Lord, have mercy. We thank you, Master, lover of mankind, benefactor of our souls, that today you have made us worthy of your heavenly and immortal mysteries through the prayers and intercessions of the glorious Theotokos and ever-Virgin Mary and of all your saints. Make straight our path. Confirm us all in fear of you. Guard our life, safeguard our steps, for you are our sanctification, and we give glory to you. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Let us go forth in peace. In the name of the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Lord, blessing those who bless you and sanctifying those who trust in you. Save your people, bless your inheritance, preserve the fullness of your church. Sanctify those who love the beauty of your house. Glorify them in return by your divine power. And do not forsake us who hope in you. Grant peace to your world, to your churches, to the priests, to our government, and to all your people. For all generous giving and every perfect gift is from above, coming down from you, the Father of lights. And we give glory, thanksgiving, and worship to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord, now and forever, now and forever, now and forever. The blessing of the Lord be upon you through his grace and loving kindness always, now and ever and forever. Amen. As soon as the liturgy is over and I've gotten my vestments off, I'll be available for confessions for as long as necessary. I would invite those of you who wish to make a sacramental confession to wait in the, the back row here of the church and let people come up one by one to where confessions are heard. You'll find a guide for the examination of your conscience and the correct prayers for the sacrament of repentance in the Byzantine tradition, which does not begin with, bless me, Father, for I have sinned, uh, on the table in the back. Glory to you, O Christ our God, our hope, glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, give the blessing. May Christ our true God, who for our salvation came to Bethany, to raise Lazarus from the dead, have mercy on us, and save us through the prayers of his most pure mother, through the power of the precious and life-giving cross, through the intercession of the holy incorporeal powers of heaven, of the holy archangel Michael, whose church this is, of the holy prophet, forerunner, and Baptist John, of the holy glorious and illustrious apostles, of our holy father Nicholas, Archbishop of Myra and Lycia, the wonder worker, of our holy father John Chrysostom, Archbishop of Constantinople, of the holy priest Martin Nikon and his disciples, and through the prayers of all the saints, for Christ our God is gracious and he loves mankind. Amen. 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 Amen.